Hello and welcome to a tutorial video. Today I'll be discussing how to avoid common Steam scams. A lot of my viewers on both YouTube and Twitch are unfortunately um, victims to hacking and today what I want to try and do is explain how to avoid those particular uh, scams or hacks that come across on an everyday basis on Steam. So let's hit it straight into it and look straight into phishing. Phishing is a way of collecting your details on a fake website. Usually you can normally tell if the website is legit or not by looking at the URL of the address. So at the bottom of the image there, you can see that uh, this is completely spelled incorrectly. However, the website will look exactly like a normal Steam profile. What you have to be really careful with these is if you do log into these, then your details will be taken. Uh, usually what will happen is from that process they'll normally make you download a Steam Guard uh, executable and this what this will do is key lock your information. So you really have to be careful and make sure that you look at the URL of the address really really carefully. If it doesn't have a green lock sign on the top left then this is not a legit site. So please avoid those sites. This type of scam is probably the most common, especially in my environment where people do send me trade offers on a regular basis. They will try and send you trade offers. Trade offers which will usually be uh, promising a certain amount of items for your items back. In this case of the example, person is offering $5,000 in Steam wallet funds. Um, however, this is completely uh, fake and what other types of scams people will often provide a lots of nice items and then in between of what they want in return is a lot of different cases and then one really expensive item so for example user would offer me an all pattern of and in return all they would want is cases however if you looked very carefully and looked throughout all the cases my bayonet Doppler would be in the middle of that. So you need to be extremely careful when looking at Steam trade offers. The other one that used to exist uh, was when you'd offer a particular trade and then they would pull the item out just before you hit accept. However, Steam have finally caught up with that and now removed that. So if there is any changes, Steam will notify you and say, X user has removed a particular item, please reconfirm the trade. So the main one you need to be seriously careful of is the trade offers because Steam will not return the items if you fall victim of this type of scam. The next section is private profiles and secure passwords. When trading you need to ensure that the user that you are trading with is legitimate. So as a main basis, you really want to ensure if you are going to trade with anyone, make sure their profile isn't private, especially if their inventory is private. This makes it very suspicious and you should take extreme caution if you do wish to trade with these users. A good website to use is Steam Rep. Steam Rep will be able to provide if there has been any reports on the user, if they have any previous VAC bans, and it's a great way to make sure that your account and the person that you are trading with is a legitimate user. Even comments below their profile can be paid for. So do not believe those plus rep good trades. Um, you need to ensure that you are going on the Steam rep websites and making sure that the user that you are trading with is secure and legitimate. The next area is obviously passwords. Um, what I'm going to provide is a website called How Secure Is My Password. This website will be able to give you some guidance and some help on how to ensure that your password is secure and safe. If you aren't sure, make sure you can put maybe some ASCII code in there or some symbols. Make sure you use a combination of both numbers, capitals, lowercase, everything possible to ensure that the password is safe. 
What we'll be looking into next is Family View and how do you set up Family View and why is it good to use? So the next section I'll be showing you is how to access Family View. Where you'll need to go on Steam is Steam and then Settings and then Family View. Once you are in Family View, you'll be taken to this page and it will want you to set up uh, the four digit pin to protect your account. In this case, I want to make it so the user cannot access anything while in Family View. So in this instance, I want to select only games I choose and the rest of it unticked. So this will mean that everything is completely locked down. If uh, you choose to tick these, once it is in family view, they'll be able to access the information. So you want, if you want your account to be completely locked down, you want to ensure that you have all of this unticked. Once you go to only games I choose, uh, I want to just completely ignore it and have, let, give them access to no games at all. Once you have a recovery email that you need to be taken to, and this will make sure if you do forget your PIN, you have an email to recover it back to. Then we're going to enter the PIN. It's a four digit PIN, so like a credit card, for example, or a debit card. Once you have gone through the email confirmation and all the security, this is how Family View exactly works. And I'll just be showing you quickly an overview of how Family View works, and then we'll go into Steam support and what happens if you do get your account hijacked or stolen. So what you need to do is enter the pin that you created earlier, and then Boom, presto, you have all of the details back and you have your account back. So, and then once it's gone again, completely deactivated. So it's an extra layer of security if you wish to have it. The final stage of this tutorial is Steam support. So unfortunately, your account has been hijacked or stolen and there's no way of recovering it. Where you need to go to next is support.steampower.com. This will provide you the information that you need to regain your account. Don't worry, like, do not panic. That's the main thing that you can do at this instant. You do have your account lost. You need to go to account issues and go to reclaiming a hijacked Steam account. Once you are on reclaiming a Steam hijacked account, it will provide you multiple amounts of information of how to regain your account. It will break it down of what kind of information you will need. So in this instance, you'll need some credit card information just to pr prove that it is you. Bank transfers or even game CD keys. It's really, really good to have this kind of information. Take pictures of it with your phone or any kind of camera and be able to provide Steam support with this information. The more information that you provide them, the quicker they'll be able to respond. Usually, um, I've not noticed it's about around two weeks, 14 days for them to get everything turned around and resolved. With items, however, it can take longer. You'll get your account back, but the items may take longer to recover if they'll recover it at all. Steam will be down to, it'll be down to them if they decide to return your items or not. Once you have this information, you need to contact Steam support and create a support account. Once you've created a support account, it will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to recover your items. Steam will provide um, back and forth emails if they do need any additional information. But as I said, if you provide as much information as you can, they can work a lot more efficient. So do try and take as much information as possible and good luck on getting your account back. Hopefully that's helped you out guys and girls and until next time I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.